on the backyard this afternoon. I'm doing a quick garden update. I kind of debated whether I was going to do any more garden updates for the year because we haven't had rain in a couple weeks and everything's pretty much drying out and dying. Uh, if you saw my one video, the, I think one of the last garden videos I did where Roxy and I planted vegetables, everything that I started from seed didn't do well, didn't even grow, so not so good, but I figure you can take two different views on it. You can look at the good or look at the bad, and I think we'll look at the good here today, so we'll do a quick tour. Um, looking at it here, this is from out front. You can see the tomatoes and peppers. And I have pretty much everything cleared out. I spent some time on it during my vacation here. So I'll do a quick update here showing each thing that's growing. Alright, we'll start over here with the tomatoes. You can see they're growing really well. These are about up to my waist in height. They're all growing nice, uh, even with the limited rain. We have them watering though. Now to take a look down here, you can kind of see that we do have some tomatoes growing. Each one of these is producing. You can see them under there. So pretty happy about that. Like I said, you can be positive even in bad conditions. So these are all growing and over here we have all the pepper plants growing. This is the first line. And I did notice over here on the second line that we have growing. These are doing well also. We've got some peppers. How about that? This one's got a pretty good one there. That's probably about ready to pick. These things will get a lot bigger as the season goes on here. Um, now we'll slide over here. This is where that lettuce was that uh, was growing from last year. I cut most of that off this week. We do have a little bit growing here that I planted. I think this was planted in the very beginning of June. And I planted some more today back here. I don't know how it's going to do in the heat. Uh, we have some onions growing back here that we started. You can see these. Got a little bit of a line there. They're handy to have. Um, back here, this is rhubarb. I cleared this all out. Cody already made a rhubarb and strawberry pie this year. That was delicious. So that was the first time we've ever used that. Got Roxy out here. Now moving over here. This is the squash and zucchini. These are doing well. I know I do have one out here. I saw her earlier. Look at that monster zucchini. That's about as big as my hand. So we'll take that out here pretty soon. Now this one, that one had a huge zucchini on it. I picked it off and within the next few days it died. I'm kind of having that problem here. This one, I mean you can see these ones are doing well. We got a little mini, mini squash growing here. But this one, that one I just picked a huge zucchini off of and now it looks like it's dying and then this one's doing the same thing over here. I don't know what might be causing that. But fortunately I planted quite a few of them as like an insurance policy so there are still quite a few growing out here. Well, over, over here, I'll show you the grapes are doing well. Now, I don't spray these or anything. You can kind of see the bugs getting after them a little bit. But you can also see we've got some grapes on there. Little mini grapes growing. Let's see if I can find some more. They come a little bit later in the year. Up here, this one's really getting hammered with the bugs. Like I said, I don't spray at all. Everything out here is natural. Here we've got a little bit of grapes growing in there. So that'll be nice to eat later on this year. Hey, what are you getting after? Huh? What are you getting after? Getting bugs? Ants? What a goof. You're gonna get a bath when we go in? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Roxy, you're so cute. Uh, while we're over here, I'll show you my cucumber. Got one cucumber plant left. Yeah, it's looking all right. Hopefully that one produces. That'll be our first cucumber plant that we've had success on. Now, back here, this is where I planted the corn early in the year. As you can see, there's nothing there, so it didn't do well. That pile right there is a bunch of weeds that I cut down from over here. That was asparagus earlier in the year. That went to seed, so that's done. That's where those two poles signify. That's I don't want to rototill that at all. And we'll keep walking back here. This is the garlic. You can see that's doing well. That's just about ready to pick. Looking nice. And these are Jerusalem artichokes. And we'll leave these in here all year. 
and pick them out later in the year. From what I understand, we didn't use any of these last year, but they taste a lot like uh, water chestnuts or potatoes. You can see how tall these are all standing in front of them. You can see they're probably about eight feet tall. So that's pretty cool. Let those go. There's the bear bear. Okay, over here. This is where I planted all the seeds that we did earlier in the year. And as you can see, it didn't do well. So I just let it go. The one thing that I do think we have here, we got some beans growing. Remember I planted the beans earlier in the year? I think they're growing there. Yep, you're interested in that. And lastly, in the garden, we have all the raspberries. And that's going to be exciting when they start growing. They'll grow right up through those posts there, and we'll have lots of raspberries to pick. I'm still working on weeding that out in the back. So, that's the garden. Like I said, you can still be positive even when you don't have good conditions. As you can see, we have a lot of space here that's unused that I would have liked to use. But uh, I'll show you some other things that we have growing here, too. I thought I'd show our trumpet vine. It's in bloom. It's looking real nice. These are a beautiful color. You can see how they're doing. There's still quite a bit more to come, too. These ones haven't bloomed yet, but standing back, it's pretty big, and boy, does that look nice when it's in full bloom. And while we're walking through here, um, I mentioned earlier how we didn't have any peaches for the year, maybe because of the pruning, maybe for various other reasons, but we do have some pears. You can see a couple of little pears growing on this tree, so I'm happy about that. That's the only thing that we're going to have fruit on this year, other than the raspberries. But we'll take it. Here's our butterfly bush. That smells so great. It's got a beautiful... These were looking a little bit better earlier in the week, but you can see these are like pinkish purple, looking real nice. There's a butterfly on it there. We had a cute video of Roxy playing with a butterfly, but it didn't really turn out, so... That's okay. Looks great. Smells even better. There's a the butterfly. There he goes. Wow. They're going nuts on it. Now beside this cute little puppy here, we have another butterfly bush. This one's a little bit deeper in the purple. Looking real nice. This thing smells so good too. Love these butterfly bushes. And this is the side garden bed. Everything's pretty much done in here, but you still have a little bit of color. If you watch some of my older videos, you know I'm a big fan of the container gardening. Started that this year and I'm having fun with it. Um, in here, I started some beans. You can see they're starting to grow a little bit right there. And then in here, I'm doing peas, since my peas didn't turn out well down there. And you can see I planted four and they're all starting. So I'm going to put like some fencing in here and let it grow up. I started another cucumber plant just as an insurance policy again. And these are the watermelon cantaloupe. I'm a little concerned about actually planting these in the dry garden because it's probably going to kill them all, so I don't know. And then I started radishes in here. I'm, I am a big fan of radishes. And in here I'm starting beets, which I'm going to transplant in the garden. So we're having some fun with the container gardening. And over here, in this little section here, I planted some more onions since we had the space. And this is right up beside the house, so you can just come out and grab some onions out of there if the dog doesn't eat them. And over here, beside the marigolds, I planted a little more lettuce, so you can grab that right when you come out of the door, too. That's the lettuce growing there. And then one last thing. I rigged this up this morning. Some of my peas that I planted throughout here did actually grow, and I put some stakes in here, and they're growing up that, so that's pretty cool. I got three stakes, and we'll see how they do. But uh, when the things don't grow, I, don't, I refuse to quit, so we're going to have some peas this year and some beans no matter what so that's it for the garden update thanks for joining me and we'll have more in the future i guess positive edition